So, Roy, that gives us a chance to have a, a quiet chat. Yes, Alex, sir. Listen, the wild man of rock, that's what you were sort of dubbed in the 70s, and uh, having met you, you seem quite a quiet person, really, apart from the air and the clothes and everything. Is that all to hide behind? Is that, is that what the beard and everything's for? Uh, oh, I don't know, really, it's bit, so I don't get recognised on the bus, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would recognise me looking like this. No, that's true. That's so true. that's uh, I mean I'm I'm too too lazy to shave. That's about it, really. Yeah. <laughs> you you started off many years ago in Birmingham with Jerry Levine and the Avengers. Do you remember that? <laughs> then you moved on. Then you moved really took a step in the right direction because you moved up to Mike Sheridan and the Night Riders making, then, didn't you? Making me sweat now. Yeah. And then after Mike and the Night Riders, it was the move, which was the, really yeah. the start of it all, wasn't it? That That's was right. the big hits hit time. What what do you remember of those days with the move? Was it good fun? Uh no. It was really it was crap. Was <laughs> 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 it? Was, we, I mean, uh, we were successful, but we, uh, as a group, we didn't really get on very well, to be honest. So it, it, at rehearsals, it was, it was one of them, you know. And on stage, it was, it was one of them. All smiles, yeah. and uh, and of course, you had that big hit with "Flowers in the Rain," which was the first song to be played on Radio One. Wasn't yes, it, it was. Yeah. yeah. And you wrote that. I did. Yeah. Well, then from the move, it was the Electric Light Orchestra. In fact, Roy Wood has had more groups than Joan Collins has had facelifts, haven't you? Really. <laughs> and. and, and <laughs> Then from the yellow, it was it was wizard, but like it seems to me that you, you always sort of as soon as the group was going well, you said, "Okay, then try, lads. I'll leave it to you. See ya." Why was that? Uh, well, coming I suppose really. It's not because I sort of got bored or anything, but I, I like a challenge, and then when you when you've done it, you want to do something else. Do you, do you get easily so fed up like, with things, do you? No, not really, no. I don't get back. It's not that I get bored with this. I, mean, I still like uh, ELO now, even though I'm not with them. I like yeah. their music very much. So what are you doing these days? Because we don't see that much of you, but you're still busy working away, aren't you? Uh, well, over the past uh, sort of three years, I've been mainly producing records for other groups and uh, uh, engineering and studios and stuff. And I've just, I've just written a song for uh, Agnetta from ABBA for her album. That's the blonde one, isn't it? The one with the, one with with the, the highest bomb. Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, uh, one for the shadows. Yeah. And also, I'm supposed to be doing an album with uh, Toto Koala. Who? Toto Koala. I you know, take your word for it. Tart. Oh yes. Yeah. Do you, don't you miss performing now? Well, yes, I do. Uh, I'm in a very strange position though at the moment. I'm, I'm going to see what happens with my new. I've just finished my new single. I'm going to see what happens with that, and then uh, if that starts to do all right, I shall form a new band around the sound of the single and uh, go back on the road again. OK. Well, let's go back a few years now and uh, bring back your old boss, Mike Sheridan. Mike, can you come in here for a second? Oh, and, uh, and And, Mike, the, you tell us. Hello, Brian. Hello, oh, Terry. How you doing, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> you do know each other. Um, Very well. You have met before. Who's who's who's? Tell, <laughs> tell us the story of how Roy came to be playing with the Knight Riders. Well, uh, <clears throat> we were short of a league guitarist and uh, we put an advert in the Birmingham Mail. And he turned up, worse luck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lead guitarist wanted, I remember, lead, lead guitarist, guitarist wanted, uh, must have Fender, uh, Vox Amp, and Vincent Echo, and I, yeah. I had the set. So and that's what he, he, he was in. But you didn't want him, did you? No, I was against him because... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> 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 Because he actually turned up and he was dressed in his potato sack. <laughs> no, no. he's that's always been in snuffy dresses. With the corners cut out. Really? You didn't yeah. go around dressed in potato sacks? Me mum used to get them off the market, yeah. <laughs> anyway, listen to Milk, listen to Milk, we don't want to talk about him. What these people in here want to know is about you, mate. Me? Yeah, because you are sort of a... Yeah, all the fame, all the women. ...star in the making. The well, tell us a bit about you. How it started, How it mate. started, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I said, thank you very much. No, I mean, nice said, this. Actually, how it all started was, oh, gosh, way back, I was only a little lad, really, at school, and we started in the days of the Great Skiffle Disaster. <laughs> And uh, I moved on from various <laughs> skiffle groups um, to, to rock bands, and eventually I ended up in the folk clubs. And um, hang on a minute, hey, hang, hey, come on, come on, it's not as bad as all that. It's not, listen, well, well, when in your early days, when you two were working together, my early days, early days, oh, when okay. you two were working together. Hang on, I got me what's it called? And at the end of the night, <laughs> at the end of the night, when you tried to so get your money, yeah. What did you have to go and say to the promoter? You said, give us the money, and what did they say to you? The Tremolos! No, hang on a minute, no. No. They said... The Shadows! They, no, no, they said to you, fat, fat 
chance. chance. Fat chance, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.